Um, I'm very happy to be here with you today. Um, as you can see, we are discussing the weather again this week. Uh, the last couple of weeks we uh, covered windy and so there's our little wind guy up there blowing the wind and we last week we did rainy so it was up there it was raining and I had my big umbrella and then I'm gonna just fix you a little bit so it looks a little bit better there we go hi Felicity and Noah good morning and Levi hi Levi you don't have your buddies with you today Levi um so uh today what's the weather and i wanted to do sunny but if you look outside here in washington courthouse ohio it is certainly not sunny it actually hasn't been sunny for quite a few days we've had lots and lots of rain so um uh that's why i put the not with a sad face because i don't know about you i could use some sun right now so here's the sun kind of poking its face over my shoulder here and uh, hopefully this weekend we'll see some of it. Um, so this uh, today we're doing what's the weather again and we're gonna talk about the sun and I had some beautiful music playing for you as you joined me this morning. The boys have a show in Oklahoma this week. Holy moly they're in Oklahoma. I wonder if it's sunny in Oklahoma for them. Uh, maybe they could send some sunshine this way if they do have some Caden and Corbin in Oklahoma for a horse show. Um, so let's get started. Let me see here. Let's see if this works. Ta -da! Here come our friends. Here they come. Here they come. All right. Hello from Callie. Hello, good morning, Callie. Nice to see you this morning. Hello, Callie. Good morning, Sloan. Oh, hello, Sloan. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Sloan came a couple of times, I think, to our, to our story time when we had it in the building before all of this uh, started. So nice to see that you've joined us today for our live Facebook version of our books and blocks story time. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and get our hellos ready. All right, and we're gonna sing Hello Friends. Here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Hello, my friends. I miss you all so, so very much. And um, I've gotten to see a few of you here and there. Uh, I got to see Levi, Caden, and Corbin uh, as they came through the drive through at Starbucks when I was working there one day. And I also got to see Noah uh, on Tuesday because he came for a curbside pickup to pick up some books. So if, um, if, you have the chance to stop by the library to pick up some books if you need help figuring out what books to get just give us a call and we'd be happy to help you with that all right and i see cora is here too hello miss cora good morning good morning we just sang hello friends so let's move on to the next song and it's what's the weather we've been singing this song every week together to find out what the weather is like outside. So there are the words for you there. And I'll skip over a little bit. All right, let's go ahead. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Tell me, dear children, what's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy out today? Is it snowing? Is it windy? What's the weather like today? Well, what's the weather like today where you are? Hmm? I know right outside the door, shall we take a walk? We did this last week because I am now at the library instead of at my house. So let's take a look outside. Sorry about that. <laughs> let's take a look outside 
We could also take a look at Mr. Aaron's beans that he planted on Tuesday. And if you missed that story time on Tuesday with Mr. Aaron, you can still catch it because the video is on our Facebook page. All right, so let's see here. I'm gonna turn you around so we can look at the weather. There's the church, and let's look at the sky. Oh, I don't see any blue. I see nothing but gray here. What do you think? Cloudy, maybe some raindrops coming down. It certainly isn't sunny, that's for sure. Callie says it's cloudy where she is. I see the ground is wet, so it was, it's been raining. And here are Mr. Aaron's beans that he planted. So if you want to plant your own beans and hang them in the window, just like Mr. Aaron did, go to his video on our Facebook page that he did on Tuesday and you can find out how you can do your own and they'll sprout. Or you can come walk by the library and take a look at Mr. Aaron's beans as they start to sprout and grow. So while the weather is certainly not sunny, I think we need to talk about the sun because we all need some sunshine in our life right now. What do you think? I can do with some sunshine in my life right now. So I say, let's just make our own sun. Yeah? All right, sounds good to me. Let me put you back here. Oh, Cora says it's raining where she is. I don't think we're gonna get uh, relief from the rain until this weekend here in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. I know I have friends that live out in California. I wonder if they're um, having some sunshine today. I found one of Mr. Aaron's beans. Maybe this one's magic. All right, so we determined that the weather really is cloudy and rainy, but we're making our own sunshine today and uh, because we just need some sun in our lives, right? We could always do with some sun. So let's get ready for our book. So let's push your chair out of the way, push your coffee table out of the way. We are gonna jump, hop like bunnies. Hop like bunnies, jump like frogs. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's see. Oh, Scarlet says hi. Hello, Scarlet. And go away rain, yes. Yes, indeed. We'll be singing a song later in our story time to maybe help the sun come out and push away the rain clouds. I can use a pick-me-up from some sunshine. All right, here we are. Are you ready? Can you hop, hop, hop like a bunny? Can you run, run, run like a dog? Can you walk, walk, walk like an elephant? Can you jump, jump, jump like a frog? Can you swim, swim, swim? Swim, swim, swim like a goldfish. Can you fly, fly, fly like a bird? Can you sit right down and fold your hands and not say a single word? Shh. Are you ready? Are you ready? My necklace fell off during the hopping. I was hopping so vigorously, my necklace just jumped off. All right, looks like Emma and Abby have joined us today. Emma and Abby Thorman, thanks for coming, girls. It's good to see you in writing. <laughs> All right, today is sunny. Well, not really, but we're just gonna pretend it's sunny. Today is sunny. And we've been taking a look at these nonfiction books together. I'm gonna to scoot a little closer so you can see the pictures better. We've been taking a look at these nonfiction books together that talk about the weather. And we did one on the wind and we did one on the rain. And now we're gonna do one about sunny weather. Let's take a look. Look at, at the cover of our book. Look at this boy. What does he have on? He's got a towel around his neck and he's got some sunglasses on. That's right, he's got some sunglasses on to protect his eyes from the bright, bright sun, which we don't know what that means anymore here in Ohio, right? Today is sunny. Today is sunny. 
Today is sunny. Here is the table of contents. And this tells us what we can find in our nonfiction book. Table of contents. Ooh, look at this picture. What's that? Is that the sun? Is that what it looks like? A sunny day. The weather is sunny today. Few clouds float in the blue sky. Few clouds float in the blue sky. Look at that big, beautiful sun. Bright sunlight shines through the trees. It makes shadows on the ground. That's something fun to do on a sunny day is to go out and look at your shadow and look at your shadow and even trace it with sidewalk chalk. The temperature is low on a sunny day in winter. It is high on a sunny summer day. So here is a sunny winter day. See all the snow? It's cold, but it's sunny out. What I wear. I wear sunglasses to protect my eyes. I do not look at the sun. Do you have sunglasses? I have sunglasses. Check this out. I have sunglasses. Do you wear your sunglasses when it's really sunny outside? How about this one? I put on sunscreen so I don't get sunburned. I definitely do this one. Here's my sunscreen. Here's my sunscreen. I got my sunscreen for my sunny day. I also, maybe this is something you do too. I also wear a sun hat or some sort of hat to keep the sun off my face. What we do, we play outside on a sunny day. No rain will stop our game. And what are they playing? Are they playing tag? Or maybe football, it looks like football. We ride our bikes. The sunlight feels warm. It'll be nice to get out and ride your bike again, huh? After all this rain. We have a picnic. We sit in the shade of a big tree. You can go on a picnic on a sunny day. How's the weather? Today is sunny. What will the weather be like tomorrow? I wonder, take a close look at the little boy's thought. What do you think he thinks the weather is gonna be like tomorrow? Hmm. Looks a little cloudy, but still some blue in the sky. So that was our nonfiction book about today is sunny and what sunny is and what we do during sunny weather and also what we wear during sunny weather like sun hats and sunglasses and we put on our sun block, right? Well, I'm gonna take this stuff off now because it's kind of dark with those sunglasses on inside the, inside the library. <laughs> All right. I also have a book for you called Pignic. Pignic. And in our Today is Sunny book, we learned that one of the things that you can do on a sunny day is go for a picnic. Well, here are some pigs going on a picnic. You see that? It's a little family of pigs and they have a picnic basket. 
That's our cover of the book. Let's look at the back of the book. And then that little pig, well, this little pig <laughs> is carrying a kite. Ooh, who's this guy? Who's that guy? That looks like a wolf. It says, what a perfect day for a pic picnic. And this is by Matt Felon. Look at that cute little pig. Look at that cute little pig. This little piggy. Picnic by Matt Felon. There they go. There's their little house. And there they go. Hi, Avery and Adrian. Thanks for joining us. Here's our book, Pignic. It's a perfect day for a picnic. Look at that beautiful blue sky. And it's so sunny. There is a tree to climb. <gasps> There's a tree to climb. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Can't reach. Tad, oh, too high, too high. Oh, look at that. How nice of the turtle. What a nice, kind friend. Hooray! Got up in the tree, hooray! There is a kite to fly. Oh, there's that wolf again. What's he doing there, I wonder? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No wind. No wind. Can't fly a kite without the wind. <sighs> Hooray! That's what that wolf was there for. <laughs> Pretzels, pies, pickles, and plums. Yum, yum, time to eat. Look at that beautiful sunny day for a picnic. Hmm, what's going on oh, over here? What's going on over here? I wonder. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dark clouds. What does that mean? What do dark clouds mean? What's coming? It was dark when I went to look out the window today, right? It was gray outside, just like in our book. Oh! That's what that means. Rain. Looks like their picnic got rained out. Oh, man. But luckily for them, they're pigs, right? Mud? Mud? Mud, yeah! <laughs> pigs like mud, right? Hooray! 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 
Hooray for mud! <laughs> what a perfect day for a picnic. What a perfect day for a picnic. That was a perfect day for a picnic. If you're a pig, right? The rain didn't get them down. They turned it into something great, like a big mud party, right? All right. Those were our two books for today. Now I was thinking we can sing a song that would help bring some sunshine out. Let's see, I'm gonna get it ready for us. And I think that Rafi does it best. So let's sing with Raffi. We stretch way out here. And it stretch way up there. Stretch. Stretch with Raffi. Stretch. I have a song about Mr. Sun that says, Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the trees. These little children are asking you, please come out so we can play with you. Mr. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? How about if we do it with all the grown-up sons in here doing it too? All right, moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and aunts and uncles, nannies, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, hiding behind the tree. These little children are asking you, to please come out so we can play with you. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, just please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. No one does it better than Raffi. do a quick announcement about some of the services that we're offering to you um, during this time that the library remains closed. We have our curbside pickup is underway. Give us a call if you have any questions about how it works. You can also visit our website and use the SEO library app to order books from our library location and then we can run them out to your car for you. Um, if you have books you would like to return, just go ahead and put them in the book drop that is outside and picking up books is easy. Come to the library, give us a call when you get into the parking lot and we bring the books out to you. Also, something very exciting this year, something different. We had to reimagine our garden program for the year so you can, as a family, adopt a library garden bed. And what that means is that you would get a gar one of our six one of our three available plotted um, uh, raised beds out on the side of the library and you could do a half bed, you can do a full bed and you would fill the bed with um, plants of your uh, choosing and you would help weed and water and we can always help you with that as well. And if you want more information on that and how that all works, just give, give us a call here in the children's department. You can talk to Mr. Aaron or myself and we'd be happy to talk you through that. All right. Also, after my live story time is done, I have some activities that you can do that um, can bring some sunshine into your home. Uh, so I'll post the links up to those activities there that I found that I thought would be good for, for our little ones here. Um, to do if you have paint at home or a paper plate and some construction paper, maybe some string. Um, you can um, do some fun activities that would bring some sunshine into your house. All right, so we have our closing song, This Little Light of Mine. 
Also, I wanted to show you something. If you come to the library to pick up your books, you might see Mr. Aaron or myself or any of the other librarians here at the library look like this. Okay, many of us are wearing masks to help keep everyone safe. So don't worry, kids. It's still me, Miss Noelle. Ha! Hi! I'm just wearing this to keep you safe. Okay, so, um, but you can still see my glasses, right? So you know it's me. You know it's me under here. So I wanted you to see what I looked like with the mask on, because that's what I'll be wearing if I get to see you if you come to pick up some books, or even when the library does open. Okay, so we have our last song, This Little Light of Mine. Can you get your light? I grabbed some of my yellow scarves, yellow for sunshine. Sometimes we use the scarves to do this song in when we're here together at the library, all right? So grab your light, grab your light. Here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All right, friends, make sure you take your light around the world and you don't let anyone blow it out. Okay, thank you for joining me. If you have any questions at all, we are here at the library to answer them for you. Just give us a call. Also, I will be back next week, next Thursday for Books and Blocks again. Don't forget, Mr. Aaron's here on Tuesdays at 1030 for preschool story time. And we love having you here with us. Thank you and take care.